Um, if you wanted to transform your data, let's say you have um, an ordinal or nominal type of variable and you wanted to recode it, again, that data tab, there's a little transform button there. You click on that. It asks you in the first window, ask it or tell it which variable you want to it to be the source. It's called the source. So you see there, like it says the little dollar sign source. You pick the variable and then you can um, click on which transformation you want to do. You can click on first create a new transformation because this is the first time that we're doing it. And you can name that transformation something else. And you don't actually um, write the formula right away on that first line. You actually have to add a recode a, a condition. And you can put as many conditions as you want for this recoding if you have more than one uh, response there. But it works the same way as your R, so that double equal sign. It's a very familiar coding language. Um, so you would tell it um, if in this variable you find female, for example, I have it there in little apostrophes. If you find female, use, and there in the, in the next uh, little column here you have use, and I would put one, for example, if I wanted to record it to ones and twos. Um, and then the same thing, you would add another recorded condition. Um, you say equals equals, as in finding that male, and then if it's male, use that number two. And what's great about this is that if you do have a lot of transforming to do, you can actually save the transformation so you can do as many as you want you can create as many transformations as you want to make and on the next variable you don't have to retype all of this coding you just drag down and find the transformation you're looking for and then you just apply it to that and again you just close it off and it's going to like here in the bottom you can see that it's already been recorded